Louis, Scottish Cup, we're looking ahead to this weekend. Is it quite nice to have the cup competition rather than the hard grind of the league? Yeah, it's, it's nice to get a, a change of competition, but uh, you know, we still go into it with the same focus. You know, uh, A bit disappointed in the other cup, com cup competition against Rafe where we got knocked out, but it was a good performance. So, yeah, as, long as, as well as doing well in the league, we want to try and put together a, a decent cup run and obviously get through the first round and get through the game on Saturday with a win. It would mean a lot to the club. I, mean, I, I don't know how aware you are of the importance, the value of the, the Scottish Cup and for all the Scottish clubs. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the importance of the Scottish Cup. Well, this is the one that matters. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm sure it's a, it's, a, it's a big competition and you, a club in the Championship want to try and go as far as they can into it and hopefully later on in the later stages maybe get some of the, the teams from the Prem and like Celtic or Rangers and like a big tie like that. So I'm sure it's, it's massively important, especially for the clubs in the lower leagues and for us as well to get through that first round. Um, I mean, looking ahead, and, and I know we're taking nothing for granted and, and they will be treated with the utmost respect down a pace, but is that the dream to have a, a big kind of glamour tie to look forward yeah, to? Yeah, I think I think that's everyone wants that sort of big standout tie. Like, obviously you want to, this is a bit of a thing, like you want to go as far as you can, but then you also want to do get a big, a big tie against one of the big teams and put yourself up against the best and see how you can do. So yeah, it's sort of, you want to get as far as you can, but then ones are the ones you look out for, like the Rangers, Celtic and Hearts and teams like that. So yeah, it'd just be important to, obviously, as you said, to not overlook this first game and to just go into that like we would any game on a Saturday and try and win. And as you look ahead to this one, you'll be hoping the wind isn't just quite as severe as it was oh, last yeah. weekend? Oh yeah, I'm hoping the wind dies down a hell of a lot because that was, that was, uh, that was hard on, on Saturday. I thought it, it changed the game a lot. It, it, it evened it out, but in sort of a poor standard of football type of way. Like we like to get the ball down. I'm sure they like to get the ball down as well. But it was just, as you can see, if you watched it, it was like pretty impossible to try and play. And then when you did, like I thought when we did try and play, like you could see, but it was just hard to like to get it down. And I think it was the same for both sides as well. So it sort of evened itself out. Uh, but yeah, still nonetheless, it's still disappointing to obviously can see late on. But yeah, just got to move on and hopefully it's a bit different this weekend. I mean, from your point of view, just how difficult was it in terms of, because a big part of your game clearly is the, the crossing and yeah. your ability to, to find the strikers in the box, trying to judge the, the It's the It's difficult because like, you see with some of the, especially on set pieces as well, like you don't know, like you don't know how, just how far you have to sort of aim like outside the normal line you would. And even on a set piece, you've got time to think about that. You've got time to think, oh, I'm going to set it further up. But like, if you're dribbling for the ball and cutting back, you haven't got that time to sort of measure it. So you're going on instinct with what you'd normally do. And then if you do do that and the wind takes it and like 40 yards out of play, like it is difficult, especially like, as a winger. That's like what you base your game on. But you know, if I've played in conditions like that enough, maybe not that bad, but to sort of know that maybe them type of games are the moment where you want to be whipping the ball in from like wide areas, sort of get it down and try and like combine and get in a different way. Well, hopefully no such issues against Dunne Pace. Going, of course, against a, a team from a lot further down the, the pyramid and, and one that, well, you'll be learning about this week, I guess, in training. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll go over it as we will with, with every game, uh, mainly on a, on a Thursday. That's when we tend to look at that sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, like, I know they're from like, the lower leagues, but we won't, that won't change anything of how we prepare, how we set up, how we go into the game. It'll just be like a normal game. We want to go in there and you see enough times when the teams from the higher league underestimate their opponents and go in and it's a, a lot tougher game and normally end up getting knocked out so we'll be sure not to do that and, and, and take it like we would any other game and hopefully try and get, get the win.